Tie with that seven day <laughs> forecast. And you found it right there. Right there. Stay right there. All right, bye. From pumpkin picking to hay rides to fall's freshest mm -hmm. foods, you can find it all in Cherry Hill. Yeah, Alicia Vitarelli takes us to a family farm with a history as rich as their delicious desserts. This is a corn the Indians grew right here at Springdale Farm a long, long time ago. And those stalks still grow in rows in a maze of 35 organic fruits and vegetables on the last working farm in Cherry Hill. Over here, we've got about five different varieties of eggplants. And beyond that over there is the okra. We've got a broccoli field right here and a little bit of cabbage up the middle. Farming isn't just rooted in John Ebert's family history. It goes deep and wide, six generations on one side, seven generations on the other. Back in 1949, the Eberts purchased this sprawling stretch of close to 100 acres and landed a major contract with Campbell Soup in Camden. We grew tomatoes and herbs for the, the cannery. Today, if they grow it, they sell it. And it's hayride season with gourds of fun ripe for the picket. It's got a real nice stem. I know, I, I figured it was kind of like a pocketbook candle. And what are you planning on doing with your pumpkins? I'm going to make it a spooky thing. No. I might make pumpkin pie with it. Not if the Eberts beat you to it. Their ovens pop out pans of quick breads, rings of Grandma Elsie's pound cakes, and homemade pies hugging heaps of fall's freshest fruits. That's a party in a bowl right there. But save room for their savory. They like melt in your mouth. Warm and happy little apple Aren't they cute? Cinnamony. Give them a little cinnamon sugar bath. Apple cider donuts. Oh, the apple cider is what makes them great. There's actual apple cider in with the mix. This is autumn right here. 